everybody loves. Let's down, down. Tonight's wine is gonna be a nice Malbec because Mondays call for something really strong. So if you need a Monday wine, Malbec is your friend. And for Mondays, I have my special glass. So as I limit myself to one glass a day, except it holds the whole bottle because that's an appropriately sized glass of wine for a Monday. So, cheers. Oh, so today I was thinking about, you know, the whole lean in thing or lean out thing. You know, it's like the big whatever going on. Women are talking about it right now and how you need to lean into work or, or lean out and spend more time with your kids. And I was thinking today, all I want is just something to lean on and <laughs> just take a freaking nap because I'm tired. But apparently life doesn't work like that. So here's to not leaning in or out, but just doing what you need to to get things done. So cheers again, friends. So the other thing going on this week is um, on Sunday is our daughter's fourth birthday. Except she's not here because she passed away four years ago. So we're trying to think of something to do as a family for her birthday. And I don't know, the first year was easier because we took cupcakes and flowers up to the nurses that helped us at the hospital. And then we kind of haven't really done anything for the last couple years. And I don't know, I don't know what to do or if we should do something but like not doing something doesn't feel right. So I don't know, that's one thing we're trying to figure out. So if you have any ideas of what we may do as a family, um, that'd be great. Y'all could leave some comments for us. Um, we're looking for some ways that we can maybe spend time together as a family or something nice we could do for someone else um, in memory of our little girl. Uh, one thing I talked about last week a little bit was I started that bed of bags project about a year and a half ago and I actually got started on that um, for another little girl's birthday and her mom and I went to high school together years ago. We never really knew each other. She was a few years older than me um, but we kind of knew who each other were. It's a small school. Everybody knows who everybody is. Reconnected on Facebook a couple years ago after her daughter passed away. And then shortly after that, our daughter passed away, and she was a really great support for us during that time. And for her daughter's third birthday, they wanted to go out and do a service project. And they were going and making care packages for the um, different homeless people around Kansas City. And so they asked all their friends and family to donate. And I really wanted to help them out with their project. And one of the things that I'd had on my Pinterest board, you know, all your crafts that you want to do, is making one of those sleeping mats out of plastic bags. And I knew that if I got started crocheting one of those, it was going to take me more than a year to get it done. And I'd had several friends comment that, you know, they loved the idea, but they had no idea how to crochet, but they wanted to help out with something like that. And so I spent you know, of several nights after the kids went to bed, I had my big piles of plastic bags everywhere. And I came up with a braiding method to make the mats. And so you don't have to know how to crochet. You don't have to have any kind of tools or anything at all. It's just, you need your hands and plastic bags. And it uses the whole bag, so there's very little waste involved. And if you can make a three strand braid, then you can actually weave one of those sleeping mats. And ended up, getting the first mat just done in time for Claudette's birthday. So I was able to give that to her family and they handed it out. And just knowing that I was supporting my friend for her daughter's birthday really meant a lot to me after all she had done for us after our daughter passed. But then she, she sent me a picture of the first guy that got that sleeping mat. And when I saw that, I was like, I, I can't just stop with one mat. So I had a lot of plastic bags laying around. I decided, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more of these. And that's when I started reaching out to different groups and um, 
like Girl Scout troops and churches and things like that. Because I figured if I if I could make a mat that doesn't take any tools, that doesn't take any special skills, then maybe other people would want to help and participate in that project. So that's where we got bed of bags. And so far, um, we have made 36, I believe, mats. And each one takes about a thousand plastic bags. Uh, if you can imagine, that's about, you know, the really big contractor black trash bags. That's about three of those packed full of plastic bags is how many it takes to make a sleeping mat. So, um, and actually just a few weeks ago, I've been giving out the mats to a group called Free Hot Soup in Kansas City. It's absolutely amazing. You guys have to go check them out. Um, it's all volunteers that meet up on Sundays and they bring food and whatever people need and they just show up and love on people and it's fabulous. And they actually sent me a picture of another guy who got the mat. So that's really exciting. Those are, I would say those, those two pictures are probably two of the things that I really, really cherish. And so those are really special for me. There's a little bit more about me. I like to play with trash in my free time, whatever free time I have. Um, yeah, when I'm not running around or as you can hear the dishwasher's running, the laundry's going because that's what we do every night when the kids go to bed. But for now I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. If you guys have anything you maybe wanna talk about, um, join me with your glass of wine here in the comments. Have a glass and tell me what it is you guys want to talk about next time. So until then, cheers.